Here's a good lesson story about not taking them back and how your own family can betray you and as a man, you must be prepared to walk alone. Two weeks ago, my ex was out with her boyfriend on his motorcycle. They hit a patch of gravel and crashed. Unfortunately, he was knocked unconscious and ended up in a ditch where he drowned. She broke her femur and is still in the hospital. Welcome and welcome back to the hallowed halls of Magic's Monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper to the keys of today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. But before embarking on an expedition to the vast collections of life's lessons and bad choices, demonstrate your eagerness with a thumbs up, subscribe, and smack that bell like the victory bell signaling success to become a patron of wisdom. So stow your baggage of doubts, grab a ticket to success, and let's enjoy this ride together. My wife and I separated last year. She found someone she liked better, and he left his wife for her. Not going to lie, it hurt. Well, my brother, I'm sorry for you, and yes, it hurts like a mother. Beyond the sense of inadequacy, failure, and uselessness, there is the downward spiral of asking, what did I do wrong and how I could have prevented this? We did the legal separation and started divorce. She is on my health insurance until the divorce is final. Well, you're a better man than me because I personally wouldn't even go that far. I have met someone new through my sister and we are taking it slow, but she seems to like me. Slap to the back of the head. Too soon, my brother. I know it's easy to distract yourself with someone new and shiny. However, you need to take the time to self-reflect, grieve your relationship, embrace the pain, and work on your mind, soul, and body. Next, you probably need to find a male therapist and explore the question of, are you attracted to cheaters? Don't get me wrong. She made the conscious choice and you had no control over that. Yet, what you can control is you going forward and you need to make sure there isn't some character flaw that will lead you to choose another like her. Two weeks ago, my soon-to-be ex-wife was out with her boyfriend on his motorcycle. They hit a patch of gravel and crashed. Unfortunately, he was knocked unconscious and ended up in the ditch where he drowned. She broke her femur and is still in the hospital. I would be lying if I said I feel any sympathy. I've dated karma and she can be a real bitch, which is why I liked better dating her two other sisters, Faith and Charity. I went by the hospital to check on her and she asked me if we could put on hold the divorce. I said I would think about it. I spoke to my lawyer and she said that it was a bad idea to change the timeline we had established for the dissolution of our marriage. Slap to the back of the head. Think about it. Think about it. The answer should have been right then and there. Hell no. She cheated. You don't owe her dog doo doo. My soon-to-be ex-wife will be getting money from the accident, I imagine. However, her boyfriend's ex-wife, now a widow, and kids will be getting his estate and insurance payout, which they should, as they are rightfully, and your homewrecker wife, or soon-to-be ex, doesn't deserve Jack. And frankly, I think even Jack would object to that. My mom and dad think I'm being evil 
to cut her off in her time of need. I'm conflicted. I don't wish this situation on anyone, but she is not really my problem anymore. First off, listen to your lawyer and what she says to do. You are right. She is not your problem anymore, and you need to get away from her as fast as possible and let her deal with the karma of her choices. Remember this part. She asked me if we could put a divorce on hold. Let me translate that for you. Honey, since my plan to lie, cheat, and betray you and take half of what you own is not, is not going to work out, will you be the nice guy, Beta Bucks sucker, I know you to be and let me use you again as my backup plan? I promise to be good until such time I find a better deal and fornicate you all over again. Any man who would say yes to that is a chump and gets what he deserves. Next issue. You need to tell your parents the following. Mom, Dad, I love you. However, if you are not going to support me and insist on enabling my 304 soon-to-be ex-wife, then we have nothing further to say, and I will be cutting you out of my life, unless you apologize right now and change your behavior. You're a grown man. Stand your ground. If they fail this last chance, then tell them their actions as you see it are a betrayal to you and with a family like you, I'm better off alone. Then cut them off, block them, let others know why so they can't change the story. Inform other family that everyone who comes at you asking for you to forgive them will also be dead to you. Give it a year for them to realize you're serious and you have a new steel reinforced spine and then slowly let them earn their way back in. In the comments section below, give your thoughts and advice and point out anything I missed. If you found value in this video, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell, and share this with at least two friends who need to see the videos on my channel. I want your personal stories to share, or if you see an article online, send me, email me the link to stories at magicsmonologue.com. This way others can learn from your victories, joys, defeats, as we work to not only support each other, but to help each other become better men. This is the best way to help grow this channel and support me. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys or subscribe to my Rumble, Twitter, Getter, and Gab. In doing so, you are certainly helping to educate other men and have the best revenge by living well. Until next time. Thank you for watching. Before you run off, check out these other videos and give them a thumbs up, which helps me to make more content.